Hello, I have a very nice release for you today. I added some tile-map paint tools. The first one is a paintbrush and the second one is a rectangle tool. Now, this rectangle tool includes some smart behavior, so keep watching to find out. And if you're new here, I am The Withers and I'm the creator of RPG Playground. And this is the easiest tool to create your own role-playing games. It's free, it's simple, you just have to register online and you can start creating. Alright, now let's see what's new in this release. This is an anti game, so let's open up the project panel. Go all the way to the left to the town map editor. And here you can already see I added some new tools here. On the left we have a paintbrush. In the middle we have an eraser and on the right we have a rectangle tool. Now you see there is a lot of space here for more tools to be added but that's not for this release right now. And of course here you can select your time up. Okay let's first try the paintbrush. Let's try a tile like this one. So what you can do now is just start painting and it will fill up some, uh, some things. You can delete it in one go. And now let's just try the rectangle tool. Let's go back to this one. So you can just drag and create things like this. Now, I said it also includes some smart behavior. What is that? Well, if you select this one, for example, and you pick the rectangle tool, if you open it, as you can see, it doesn't repeat the things, it smartly expands it. So you can do things like this. For example, it also works on this pillar, so you can make it as tall or as short as you want, like a short pillar, you can have multiple next to each other. Then let's see what else is here, for example these ones, if you just want a whole bunch of them, you can start dragging it like this and you can see it fills up nicely. There are some other examples too, for example this table. Select the table and then you can have like, if you want a really long table, it makes it way easier for you to create really fast things like that. Before that you have to do a lot of clicking, that is over now, so we could do it like this. For some things it works great, for others not so good, so let's try this one. Uh, this one is also fine. And I also made sure that these trees work great. So what you can do is, of course, if you drag it too low, it looks like it's wrong, but you can drag it like this and then create a forest. Now let's see what else we can do. For example, these kinds of things, you can also just expand it. And then here, right below it, you can do like this. And that's about it for here. Let's go to another town map. For example, the houses. No, it's not the houses, it's the buildings. These ones are now also way easier to create. So you just either you select the whole thing, but then you cannot change the height. So you have to make sure that the height is equal. If you want to change the height, then what you do is you select first the roof. Let's make a high roof. And then select this one and then you can make it of course as high or as short as you want so okay mm. and then one last thing i wanted to show you is in the refmap outdoor there are these tiles here this repeating forest and now it's also way easier to do that let's pick the pine trees here you just drag it, there's a whole bunch of pine trees. Now, to make sure the edges are nice, select that one. All the way down, oh, I made a mistake here. So let's try that again. Like this, it's better, all right. And then the bottom part, like that. Side part. that and then the top part Let's see if it looks good only this thing is not good so we can add that one and then for example we can take the paint tool to add some 
other random trees next to it so it doesn't look too repeating so this is like really easy to create uh, big areas with the planks it also works no that is the paint tool let's delete it so with the rectangle tool you can make like really nice big surfaces if you want to well before you had to click on all of those now there's only one thing that i still want to change so this one is not in the release yet but the delete or the eraser tool if you click here then it will erase everything that's not what you want of course sometimes you only want to erase a small part of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an extra eraser here that only erases a single tile at a time so that if you click on it that only a single tile is removed so that should also help you out and of course like I said there's more tools coming so there's gonna be a fill tool uh, there's gonna be a picker tool where you can select a tile so make sure you don't miss out on this and subscribe to this channel and of course if you like the new tools or RPG playground then definitely give me a thumbs up so subscribing can be done here and if you're new here there's a playlist here that can get you started all right test out the new tools make some cool levels see you next time bye